Hello, welcome to Florian Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Academy's 172nd scale F35A. Not to be confused with the F35B, because obviously the A is the normal version, the B is the B-store, or vertical takeoff and landing one, and the C is the big brother of them all, which is the Navy one. Anyway, we've seen multiple manufacturers releasing different versions of this. It is the aircraft at the moment. Obviously, it's just joined uh, service here in the UK, and obviously with a lot of foreign services around the world. So I think that's why a lot of the manufacturers are cashing in. The nice thing is, is that they are now the correct shape. It's not been done from the prototype version. This is actually the operational version of the actual kit. So it says down here, MCP or multicolored parts but it's not uh, so we'll just gloss over that part okay but it's their 50th anniversary kit as you can see we've got multiple air arms down in here as you can see so we've got one from hill uh, us markings down in here uh, and we've actually got one from uh, another us one down it sorry that's the israeli one uh, which is just down in there and then obviously we've got a uh that's the netherlands one so i've got glare on the box it's the netherlands one we've got the australia uh, one we've actually got where is this one this is just trying to see a Norwegian one okay and then the last one we got here is whose is that one who is that one that's the one oh it's the Italian one sorry didn't see it down in there as well so nice little different versions of them all on there okay running around all the boxes nothing really to see kit number for this one is one two five six one okay so down in here Stand up. There we go. Somewhat uh, instruction -y thing. And then we've got two, three bags. We've got a huge decal sheet with actually all the round tape markings. Looks like it's in all on there. Okay, and the box. So we'll dispose of that. Uh, tools you might need. And then obviously down in here, your obligatory blurb sheets. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll start with the instructions as always let me skip to that as well okay so color call outs as you see down in here you've pretty much got everybody's who are humbrol um the uh guns stuff we've got live color we've got uh model masters rebel ak vallejo right the way through but let's face it it's saying gunship gray right the way over although i don't think it is it's have glass five i think they use on these okay so being academy let's just move these out way a little bit you can see what this pull out style instructions down on here so straight off the bat you're actually going to be fitting uh, this plate system big old plate going down in here with the wheel wells and the various things so it looks like we are going to have weapons bays which is a really nice touch with these right the way through the build okay intakes being fitted in so it's all these parts being fitted into the lower hull if you like right the way through opening up uh, the actual wing pylon holes if you're going to have those into it down into the cockpit then usual thing seat cockpit tub it's pretty devoid of all sort of detail down in these purely because it's all this giant touchscreen uh, uh instrument panel instead of your traditional ones it looks like we've got a modern updated uh, f-35 pilot with his helmet as well which is a nice touch okay and then obviously those being fitted down and the usual thing putting the cockpit in and sandwich top and bottom it's the best way to do the kicks it's a single seam right the way around then okay remembering to open up the holes down here at the back and we've got the gun cover being fitted on the front okay and then moving along we've got a situation where you've actually got the gear so the gears going together pylons on the wings okay so you've got all the pylons and the smaller uh, air to air missile pylons on the outside we've got the actual glass work for the front going on there as well pylon base things like that right the way in so very nice indeed and then the doors all being fitted onto this one and closing them up looks like we don't get any weapons we do scrap that they're on the other side because uh, I'm doing this somewhat out of alignment, all right? So down in here, as you can see, we've actually got your standard sort of GPS-guided uh, weapons down in here, AMRAMs and Sidewinder X-missiles being fitted onto this one. Tailplanes being fitted down on the back, the uh, horizontal and vertical tailplanes being fitted in, and then the nozzle. Being that A, it's the fixed type that just goes in, so you don't worry about it moving around. And then last up, we've got the canopy system, angle of attack sensors being fitted on. The canopy can be open or closed on that one really very nice very straightforward as you might imagine we've also got then down in here it, it is saying gunship gray although we know it's not so you've got all the various ones 
uh, on this okay so this is the uh, Korean one just down in there and then all the other ones here so we've got a couple of US ones as we were saying before we've got the Israeli ones I can see these a bit clearer now uh, down in here we've got the Italian one okay and then further on again we've got the Australian one down in there and then on the other side we've got the last two so again we've got the Netherlands one down in there and then obviously we've got the Norwegian one again right the way through okay decals consist of a huge big decal sheet just like this and actually if we get them out they don't look too bad at all okay I'm just trying to get it out of the bag it's a little bit fixed in there we go all right and if we just grab a closer look as you can see pretty extensive decal sheet right the way through Okay, so you've got generic numbering as well, which is nice. So you can give it any type of number. We've got all the round tape being fitted down onto this one, as you can see in here. Now, the nice thing with this round tape is it looks like they've updated the color. Because as we know, the early ones were sort of a light ghost gray color. Um, and now they've sort of upgraded it to be more in keeping with the rest of the jet. You can still see it's on there, but definitely it's a little bit uh, more in keeping with the actual camo scheme. Okay, and then we've got some universal things. So we've got up here the instrument panel one, things like that down on there just like that so actually very very nice indeed so in the bags we can see okay so down in here but you got the canopy we'll look at at the moment weapons we'll have a look in a minute okay so generally as you can see it's actually very very nicely detailed it's a little bit clunky the plastic shall we say it's not as sharp and crisp as we've seen but the details are all here one of the biggest things that jumps out to me if we move around on the closer one you can probably see all the detail for the ram tape and things like that is raised which technically yes it is but not that much. It, it's about in keeping. I wouldn't want it anymore. And this is something that's a little bit different to the Hasegawa kit we talk about in the moment. Uh, because they did theirs all as recess and you put the round tape on afterwards. But by the time you've got a decal on top of this, it may be a little bit pronounced. But I think you get away with it. But generally you can see all the, the covers where they're going to go. All of this ram area on here. Again, catching it in the light, you can see all those details, but it is all raised details. Recessed where it should be, so things like the actual um, uh, leading edge and trailing edge areas, things like that, they've got recesses in amongst them all. Okay, really nice sawtooth on the back end, good class of detail down on there. And then when we look around on here, we've got the other control surfaces, the actual weapon bay areas, things like that very very nicely done indeed on the inside obviously there's nothing to see but we have got again a mix of recessed and raised details down on here on the outer part of those wings all right the bombay area type ones in here there is little ejector pins in here it's a little bit of a shame but they're easy clean up with those i don't think they're anything to be a problem with whilst we've got it here we've got a dual exactly the same two weapon one so we've got the hard point so again you've got your sort of uh your gbus uh sorry yeah uh, i can't remember which actually these ones are now it's not gbu 38s i think they might be gba 38s uh which is the 500 pound uh bomb again it's molded in one it's not two halves or tails to go on so that's quite nice same with the sidewinder x and we've got an uh aim 120c uh, down in here as well although that might be a B the fins look a bit big to me okay so yeah again really nice job on those all recessed all nicely done okay so on the underside okay so we got this part here which is technically for the intakes okay and then under here as you can see some nice details under here with the wheel wells and the bomb bays and again, a mixture of recessed, as it should be, and raised details right the way under. Here's a lot of detail under this kit, as you can see, going right the way through. Okay, then we've actually got the tailplanes. And then again, we've got the, the doors, if you're having them open in split two-piece ones. And happy to report, if you are going to be using these, the ejector pins are absolutely tiny, tiny in this. So I wouldn't even worry about cleaning up. You're never going to see them. So that's very nice indeed. And again, with the actual bay doors and things like that, again, the detail looks a little bit chunky, but I think it's about right. OK, so again, no ejector pins in those, which is a really nice touch. Good locating areas for in a moment when we actually see that bay go plugged down into this. So that's not too bad at all. All right. But again, there's no real sink marks anywhere. I can't see any sort of flashy bits on the kit whatsoever. 
Okay, so down into here, we've actually got the all important weapons bay and it is a big feature on this aircraft and it's a big feature on the kits as well and as you can see a gorgeous weapons bay down in there loads of detail as we'd expect you could add a little bit more with a little bit of plumbing if you want but really i think that's perfectly adequate right the way through the pilot although his head looks a little bit funny i know what they're trying to do with that sort of f-35 uh, helmet so that actually looks pretty good as well and looking at the gear and all the various things so we've got hubs down in here for the actual gear okay so there'll be separate ones in a moment and the intakes and the deals you've got a little bit obviously out of the way tucked out there's some ejector pins in the actual intakes which is uh, not brilliant okay and again fantastic level of detail here with the actual uh, riveting detail in that nose well so again lots of detail so that's actually really nicely done. Happy with that. That's all very nice. The gear's all really good. And then last of all, we've actually got the cockpit, which considering it's pretty much devoid of all detail inside them, that's actually got quite a lot. So that's quite nice. The nozzle is a beautiful one piece done in like that. So that's actually really nice on this one. And again, some of this stuff is, you know, devoid of detail because it doesn't actually have any. But the seat looks really, really nice. We've got nose wheel is molded in one, but here are the tires, outer tires, so you've got separate hubs and tyres for the actual wheels, which is quite nice. You can flat spot those. The seat looks good and all those areas. So that's, again, another really nice one. And last up, we've actually got the clear part. And again, that's really nice. No centre seam, nothing like that whatsoever. So again, beautifully done. No problem. And then again, clever with the actual uh, designator seeker on the bottom. Really very nice indeed for that one piece canopy. And there you have it. It looks an absolute gem. Now I've got a direct comparison because we had this as a video build. And this one here, which is the one we actually did, is the Hasegawa kit. The difference between the Hasegawa kit and this one, obviously it's a different version. This is the B, the V-Store version, everything else like that. But this one, all that sort of mechanical details of the actual RAM areas, where on this kit they're raised, on this one they're recessed. So in some ways, this is the only thing where you take your choice with the kit. You can have it raised and you can see them are a little bit more prominent, or hopefully you can see on what we've tried to achieve with this build, is that they're flat. The difference is this is the old school one with the actual uh, more pronounced light ghost gray ram tape. But I did this in Have Glass, uh, Have Glass 5 on this kit. The other thing with this kit is it doesn't have, as you can see underneath, weapon bays. Okay, so there's no way of actually seeing any of the weapon detail or anything else in this one. This one's got detail in other areas, I think, with obviously with the V-Stall system all open. Okay, and you can see underneath it with the veinage and everything else like that. And it comes with a nice little stand, which makes it a little bit different, okay, over this kit. But this one is the normal land-based, normal takeoff and landing thing, so you wouldn't have any of these details. So I think where this kit's come into its own is it's got better detail because you've got the weapon bay. And if you was to do this in flight with the weapon bays open and you could display it like that, I think it would look absolutely stunning. So definitely a big thing, a thumbs up for this particular kit. But there we go, that is the Hasegawa one. If you want to see that one, that review's up there. I'll link it at the end of the show. Or as you say, we've got the new one here from uh, Academy for their 72nd F35A. Obviously, that's the Hasegawa F35B. So there we go. It is available in the PM store as always. If you want to go and get it from us, you can get it direct. If not, it will be from your usual stockist. So there we go. That's the Academy 172nd F35A.